Hey you guys, it's Isidia. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I would love to have you a part of this channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it and give this video a big thumbs up. And without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Today, I'm going to be trying out this like hot tool product. It's like apparently it's like comparable to the Revlon one. And I believe this one's more expensive than the Revlon one. Revlon one I'm not sure but I'll look it up and I'll put it down below in the description box for you guys so I'm gonna be doing basically like blow drying my hair with this and I'm pretty excited because I honestly like the normal blow dryer that I use you have to like basically get a comb or a brush that is like this like the circular brush and then go like that and then dry it and all that and this just has that there for you this is just the hot tools professional blow dryer and it's in gold and this is how it looks and it has three settings it's cool low or high so I'm gonna be trying this out for the first time today and I'll let you guys know if this is more convenient than a regular Schmegler hair dryer so since I hopped out the shower like a few minutes ago, I'm going to go ahead and like prep my hair and normally when I wash my hair, I always like to go in with some leave-in conditioner and this has been my favorite for a pretty long time. I don't know why my voice is like raspy. So like I was saying, this has been my favorite for quite a while. It's the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine leave-in conditioner and it's super duper inexpensive, which... I love so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some and put it on the ends of my hair and then apply some on the top of my hair as well I feel like the top of my hair gets greasy easily so I try not to like put it in the roots of my hair okay so now I am going to just brush out my hair and I like to start off with the ends that way when I go to the top to the bottom there's no tangles in the bottoms By the way, I know nobody asks, but I am in my mom's bathroom. Okay, perfect. Now that I have my hair nice and brushed out, no knots in it or anything like that, I'm going to part it and we're just going to jump straight into it. I really hope that my hair isn't like frizzy and I'm going to leave my bangs for like the very end. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start off on this side, and I think I'm going to blow dry it, let me see, inward. And so I'm going to start off by using the high setting since my hair is pretty wet. pretty wet this is gonna take a second so I'm gonna have to go back over it multiple times to get this to dry <laughs>
keep real with y'all this is my mom and i've been hearing her rave about it and she's like kind of at work sorry bob i'm not sorry i would have probably just took it anyways um but i think this is gonna be my new favorite tool let me calm down i only did one like little section but honestly i suck at blow drying my hair with a regular blow dryer and this right here I really hope my camera doesn't die because I only had like two bars of battery on here. So let me stop rambling and let me hurry up. crazy but I'm just gonna clip back like the rest of my hair for it doesn't get in the way when I'm doing the bangs I feel like this side of my bang is longer than this side I don't know so I'm gonna do the setting hot again and I'm gonna do it outward Voila. There we go. And now I need to put the rest of my hair down. I hope my camera doesn't die because it keeps flashing. So I think I'm about to have to go change the camera. But look, this looks so cute. It literally took me less than an hour, which I would normally take if I was blow drying my hair with a regular blow dry. So my camera did end up dying. And um, this is the result. I really like it my overall thoughts and opinion on this is if you're somebody who's bad at blow drying your hair with a regular blow dryer definitely recommend this but I feel like you could get the same results with a blow dryer but I feel like a blow dryer takes long and me personally I'm very bad at blow drying my hair and especially since I like to like brush the ends of my hair like inward it takes me longer to do it just with like the brush and the regular blow dryer but this it's like it comes with all that you know because there's like little brush bristle um tips on here and honestly i love this product if you guys have any questions about the hot tool that i used in this video today let me know in the comment section down below overall it's a 10 out of 10 recommend i mean it's very convenient it's like a, a two-in-one type of deal so i don't know how better it can get to be honest with you guys but for me like i said I'd rather spend 25 minutes using that little tool than the actual blow dryer and a brush because that is literally like a mess for me. With that being said, I really hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I hope you're having a beautiful day or night. Stay safe and healthy and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.